In this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna share a couple of tips that are gonna help you really work efficiently in After Effects. So let's begin. It's easy to change a layer's anchor point using the pan behind tool. The shortcut is Y. Holding Ctrl and double clicking on the tool, it will center the anchor point based on the layer. And if you hold Alt and double click on it, it will center it based on the composition. If you create a shape layer and started drawing shapes, you can see the anchor point is not centered to the actual shape. If you want it to be centered all the time when you draw a new shape, you need to go to Edit, Preference, General and click on Center Anchor Point in New Shape Layers. And now if you draw any shapes, the anchor point will always be in the center to that shape. Remember, it will only work with the first shape. If you draw multiple shapes in the same layer, it will not work. It only works with new shape layers and the first shape. You imported a dark color asset into your composition. Now you want to check it. You hit the toggle transparency button. If the asset have any transparency, it will show. But in order to see it properly without adding any new solid layers to it, you can go to the composition setting and change the background color. Now you can see your artwork properly and you can switch between solid view and transparent background. This background color doesn't affect the composition and it doesn't render. So no need to worry about that. Instead of going to composition settings to change your comp size, you can click the region of interest button, drag a selection around the comp, then go to composition and hit crop comp to region of interest. That will resize your comp accordingly to your selection. It's a very intuitive way to crop your comp when you're just eyeballing it. You can change frame rate by right clicking on the footage, interpret footage, main. Here you can change it to anything. But what if you need to do that for a whole lot of different footage? For that, go to the first one that you have already changed, right click, interpret footage and remember interpolation. After that, select all the other footage, right click over them, interpret footage, apply interpolation. And that will change all the footages to that specific frame rate. You have imported a layer as a reference for your artwork and obviously you don't want After Effects to render it. Instead of turning the layer visibility off, you can right click over the layer and choose guide layer. This will turn the layer into a guide layer which will be visible in the comp and the timeline but will never render. And you can turn multiple layers into guide layers too. If you have a comp with a lot of effects and animation, now you want to see a fast preview so you can tweak them later. You can click on the fast previews button and change it to adaptive resolution. Now it will take less time to render a RAM preview with lesser quality. Make sure to change it to final quality before the final render. When it comes to audio, After Effects doesn't have a whole lot to offer. There are only a few types of audio files that After Effects supports. Still, there are few audio tricks I can help you with. I've imported a WAV file here and if I hit L, it will reveal the audio levels. And if you hit L twice as in LL, it will reveal the audio waveform. If you drag the current time indicator in After Effects, it will not play any audio like Premiere. But if you hold down Ctrl and then drag, you can hear the audio back. Other than solid colors, shape layers comes with their own set of gradients. Instead of clicking on the solid color itself, click on the fill word and from there you can choose different types of gradient and you can easily edit them in your layers. You can do the same with any shape layer strokes, so keep that in mind. Let's just say you have drawn a shape layer and now you want to mask it. You select the pen tool and started drawing a shape but it ended up being another shape content instead of a mask. In order to create a mask over shape layer, click on this button, Tool Create Mask. Now if you draw a mask over it, it will actually behave like a mask. If I draw a shape in a shape layer and open its content, you can see I have access to that shape's path point and I can easily move them around. Now let's take any of the shape from the shape tool and draw a shape and you see if I open it we have access to how many points we can add 
but we can't actually select any of the points like we did before it. In order to do that, we need to convert it. Select the shape, right click over it, convert it to Bezier path. Now we can select the points in this shape and move them around like we used to with the previous one. You can copy a mask's path and paste it into an object's position property and that object will move along the mask shape. Here I have this layer with this mask path. I'll select the mask path and hit Ctrl C to copy it. Then I'll select this comp and hit P to reveal its position property and then hit Ctrl V to paste it. Now you can see this comp is moving along this mask path. One thing to note, the in-between keys gonna be row across time keys, but they can be easily changed to other keyframes if you wish to. A lot of the effects in After Effects are path driven. Here I have a layer with the stroke effect and you can see the stroke is moving from right to left. Now let's say you need to start this effect from another point. You can do that by selecting that specific mask point, right click, mask and shape path, set first vertex. Now we can see the animation is starting from that specific point we chose. This work with shape layer paths too, so remember that. If you like these tips, why don't you comment down below what was your favorite and maybe put down some of your own so I can learn from them. Leave a like if you liked it, share this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye guys.